few details tonight about the shooting at Fern Creek High School. Newly released 911 tapes reveal the chaos and panic inside the school as students contacted their parents. WLKY's Ann Bowden joins us with more. Ann? Well, Vicki, as you are about to hear, the communication between 911 operators, students, and parents came to a fever pitch. But in the middle of all the panic, crucial information was relayed in just minutes. 911 operator Ebel, where's your emergency? Yes, do you all know there's a shooting at Fern Creek High School? No, we know nothing about that. Hold on just a second. My, my daughter just called. She's crying. I had them out, but we can't get into The first 911 call hit the center at Metro Safe at 1.07 p.m. Tuesday, September 30th. Did she say if anyone had been shot? She said that they were shooting. She's crying. I could barely understand. She said, shoot them, please come get me. And okay. you hear kids in the background. What is and your she name? She said they're hiding in the office. As the one operator starts her calls to emergency personnel, five seconds later, more calls start flooding in from parents. But I just got a message from my son saying that someone, uh, someone on the third floor is shooting again. Uh, my son just called me and said there's a shooter in the building. Fern Creek High School? Yes, ma'am, and I, I, I've called him back to double check to make sure that is correct. I've looked on the news, and I'm not seeing anything. There was chaos in the background when he called me. Mm -hmm. He said he's in a classroom, and there's a teacher in the classroom, and they have the door shut. And then several minutes later, the first call from a student. Yes, 911, Operator Davis. What's the location of the emergency? Oh, Fern Creek High. Okay, we've got... Okay, we've got... Multiple calls, police, and all of them are outside and in the school. Are you in the school? Yes, sir. Are you a student? Yes, sir. You need to stay in there with all the staff and stay secure and stay with whoever, if they're there. Is there staff with you, too? Yes, sir. But you just need to do what the staff tells you to do. Now, the entirety of this 911 call and the calls that came in lasted for about 20 minutes that day. By that time, the school was swarmed with police officers, sheriff's deputies, and Louisville SWAT and EMS, as you saw. Overall, officials say their system worked well that day. Ann Bowden, WLKY News. Thank you, Ann. In an effort to help the shooting victim, 15 year old Javante Burroughs, students at Fern Creek made these FC Proud Fern Creek High School t shirts. His classmates sold them today with freshmen wearing orange shirts, sophomores white, juniors gray, and seniors black. By lunchtime, they'd already raised $3,000, which will go toward Javante's medical bills. A lot of families and friends jumped in. It's, it's a little more of like a community thing, but it's also a class competition. Family had hoped Javante would be released from the hospital today, but there have been a few setbacks. He'll hopefully spend some time uh, early, uh, go home early next week. His family tells WLKY they're grateful for the support from the school students and even the Fern Creek football team, which came to see him in the hospital.